guys, it's your girl Remedy and I am coming at you with my six week update. If you guys didn't know already, I am now officially a mummy. Six weeks ago gave birth to a beautiful, beautiful baby girl who is such an immense blessing, like, whoa, I never realised how rich life would be. Um, being a mum. So yeah we had a baby girl and she weighed in at £7.1 and we decided to name her Jaya. Um, J-A-I, Jaya, um, in Hindi which is my husband's um, original mother tongue um, means victorious praise and Ya from Yahweh which means praise Yahweh. Um, so that is her, her first name and she only lost like 1% of her weight um, by her 10, her uh, 5 day weigh in. They're normally allowed to lose up to 10% so she did really really well. She's now at £9.8 actually um, so uh, the doctor was really happy with her progress. I am exclusively breastfeeding, I'm not expressing, not using the bottle. Um, I had to express to relieve engorgement in the early days but um, probably twice. Other than that, no expressing, just breastfeeding and that seems to be going well because she's gaining weight. Um, she is such a sweet disposition. Like, honestly, people told me some horror stories of you know how their children have been not horror stories but people scared me <laughs> and I kind of braced myself for the worse but I had been praying for a child with a sweet disposition a happy calm baby a content baby and the Lord saw it fit to bless me with the embodiment of the answer to my prayers um, she wakes up in the morning with a smile. She wakes me with a smile. She'll make a, a slight noise to let me know that she's awake and start fidgeting and I can hear her in the cot in her most basket which she's nearly out, completely outgrown in six weeks. Shocking. Um, and yeah, this is what I wake up to in the morning. You guys won't believe, don't, maybe you might not believe that I, that she wakes up with a smile but this is, this is my morning. Hello princess. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Did you sleep well? Did you sleep well? Really? And what happened then? Did you have a good dream? Did you have a good dream? Oh, mommy loves you. Look at you. So cute. <laughs> Aww. Would you like to get up and have some milk now? Yeah? Is that cheeky smile me? Yeah. There she goes again. Look at her. She's just sitting in... Look. She's just in her basket. <laughs> See her little feet. And she's just in her chair, just chilling. Just hanging out with mummy. Sleeping, actually. Um, she, at first, would wake up every two, two and a half hours. Now that's gone up to four hours pretty routinely. And occasionally we've had nearly... S oh, that's lovely. I'm not editing that out of the video. What? Your hair. Oh, oh please. Oh, I'm not. Um, so... <laughs> so, um, at first... Love you too. So, at first, she would sleep for two hours, um, two, two and a half hours and need to feed every two, two and a half hours. And then we stepped that up, she stepped that up to four hours routinely. And on the odd occasion, I think probably three times, she has slept six and a half hours, six hours, 45 minutes. Um, the first time she did that, I had insomnia, which really sucked. I mean, who does that? My baby, a newborn is sleeping. I'm sleep deprived, I need to be sleeping. But hey, um, so she's doing amazingly well. I'm just going to show you guys some clips. I am obsessed with this. She is my new obsession. Seriously. Like, 
it's crazy, it's crazy. I never imagined, never imagined for a minute. So yes, um, you guys would have noticed that in my last couple of videos, my face was like, I had been retaining water and literally the morning after I gave birth, I literally started to, my face was starting to revert back. I was looking in the mirror thinking, whoa, there's changes happening already. Um, my skin, my on my face, and especially in my neck had darkened, and still my neck is, is a little bit darker, but it, there was such a contrast. Um, and literally, the next morning, there was like this heart-shaped region that was going back to my original color, and it actually just then started to spread out. You could see, you could see that spreading of my original color um so from the morning after that started to happen and in the picture that i posted in my one of my previous videos of me holding her you can actually see the heart shape i'll see if i can find that picture to insert here so but yeah i'm recovering well from birth i i feel for the most part pretty much back to normal the only thing is I get a bit lightheaded and I get jelly legs sometimes but I think that's just because sometimes you know in the morning I just don't get breakfast in time and when you're breastfeeding you need to. Um, as I say I have been um, breastfeeding and yes darling I have been breastfeeding and the um, well, I, I'm probably going to do a separate video altogether on like natural remedies for um, pre-birth, post-birth, breastfeeding, just like my top tips for that because I just kind of feel like I need to, to share what people have shared with me that I've benefited from or what I've read that I've benefited from immensely. But one of the things I have been doing is drinking fennel and caraway, caraway, tea, caraway seed tea literally where I just put these seeds in hot water and have them as a tea with some honey. Also Moringa, I've been having those teas which are excellent for helping with lactation. I've not had any problems at all, with one exception, but that's for another video. Um, now, I actually recorded, because a few people had asked for the hospital bag tag, and I actually have recorded it, but not had the chance to edit because literally the next morning, I gave birth. So if you guys are still interested in my recommendations as to what to pack in a hospital bag, then let me know and I will edit and post that video for you. Um, I'm really happy to say that I'm back in my dreams. <laughs> yeah. Um, choo choo. Um, four weeks post birth, actually a week post birth, I weighed myself and after all my water weight and stuff had gone and I realized that I had gained well, I'd gone from 58 kg to 73, which is quite an amount considering the baby was already up plus, plus my water weight. Um, I have now lost um, 7 kg, um, which is 1.1 stone. And I really have not been doing anything um, out there or dieting or anything like that the first two and a half weeks I wasn't really able to eat clean as I would typically because I was healing and just relying on what other people what other people would make family members would make or friends would make or my husband would make and I wasn't about to be like um excuse me did you grill that and um you know I wasn't about to be like fussy um but yes yeah, so the first two and a half three weeks I wasn't really in control as I would usually be of my eating and then um, the week after you know I've been able to get back on to the majority of the time eating clean um, so as of 
two weeks ago when I weighed myself I'd lost a stone so it'd be interesting to know if, if I'd lost if I had lost more I don't actually have a scale in my house I'm not that way inclined so yeah it's just whenever I happen to be around one or at somebody's house or home who has one I will just kind of be like mm, I wonder what's going on there so I will keep you guys posted with that but I think eating clean has made a massive difference as far as just everything my energy my coping my mental state of mind it's really really helped so um thumbs up for that oh i had a visitor I, like this health visitor in the uk you kind of have to have somebody come visit you to kind of make sure that you're feeding properly make sure that you're not insane um etc and um this lady was like uh did you get the three day blues and i was like no i didn't i got the three day happies i, I actually just I kind of I think that my emotions went the opposite end I just was like in love with everyone and just and just um just super happy so yeah maybe you guys want to see a postpartum tummy uh, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna bear my tummy but uh you can see it oh my back ain't what it used to be So this is me, these are my, my Ted Baker jeans, my favourite jeans that I was wearing before pregnancy. You can see there's a little, little tummy, yes sweetheart, there's a little tummy and uh, when I engage my muscles it's pretty flat. Um, obviously some work to be done, some work to be done. Um, but yeah. Um, oh yeah, the doctor gave me a thumbs up and said that everything's healing well. Baby now weighs nine pounds eight, up from seven one, which is amazing, amazing. Um, and she said I may begin to work out. Now I'm taking my time with that. I'm gonna just probably start with extensive walking and Pilates. I'm not gonna go crazy, moderate, you know, at the end of the day, just had a baby. <laughs> Your abdominal muscles get literally almost, well, pretty much torn apart. So I'm not gonna be going ham just yet. There's, you know, be sensible. Nobody has to be macho up in here. Um, so yeah, that is my update. Loving motherhood. It is not like I imagined. Um, it's a lot better than I imagined. Um, and it's demanding. It is demanding. It is a 24 hour, a 24 hour job. I know people say it until you're in there. You don't really fully understand. Um, but I would do it again in a heartbeat. Already thinking about the next baby to be honest. Yeah, already thinking about the next baby, although we're not going to rush into it, but um, yeah, I'm just like, this has not put me off <laughs> at all. So I'm going to leave you with some photos, which I styled and took of baby Jaya. Um, hope you likey. Um, yeah, let me know if you want to see the hospital bag tag. Peace.